Hey, buns. It's a lonely world, especially with all this social distancing going on. So what better time for me to help you choose your internet waifu based on the job you play in Final Fantasy XIV? Since we all know that our personalities only extend so far as the stereotypes of our jobs. <laughs> This is the perfect way to match you up with a wife who, whose love for you will be unconditional. And by that, I mean they won't love you under any condition because they're not real. But I still love you if it makes you feel any better. First, let's start with the tanks. Paladin. So what first comes to mind is Shiva from EA Savage because well, she really likes snowflakes. Uh, not calling you snowflake. I'm just saying, like, you know how that, you have that snowflake <laughs> ability and blinding people with horrible light abilities and also flashing people a little bit um but <laughs> even though shiva the character is thousands of years old um the whole other situation surrounding this which you'll know if you've done the raids um makes this a little bit legally ambiguous and i don't think that a paladin would be okay with any kind of legal ambiguity considering paladin's tendency to be lawful good and even if the age weren't an issue i mean christ vulgar would kick your ass because he doesn't have any issue with that but that's a whole other topic therefore i deferred to nanamo because sultan sworn paladin order is dedicated to defending the sultana the whole point is to be devoted to the sultana so nanamo is really your state mandated waifu but a gunbreaker actually has it even worse than you do because the gunbreaker order was uh erected <laughs> around def defending the hrothgar queen <laughs> who totally exists but she get, she goes to a different school so that's why you never met her <laughs> So, uh, no Hrothgar can show you a picture of her or anything like that. Um, and the whole Gunbreaker Guild is built up around that. So, you really are locked into a waifu already. I, I can't help you with that. <laughs> Maybe go draw some fan art. You can write some fanfic and cry in a corner until FanFest 2028 when they finally release a Hrothgar female model. Moving on, Dark Knight. Now, obviously, you are your own waifu. Okay. Nobody, nobody's going to treat you better. Nobody is going to take care of you better. Be there for you in the darkest night. I know that might not fa sound very satisfying, but I mean, as dark nights, we walk a lonely road. It's the only road that I have ever known. My shadow's the <laughs> only one that walks beside me. My shallow heart's the only thing that beat. That's what you can um, sing to yourself uh, <laughs> whenever you summon Frey. Anyways, uh, Warrior. Rock. Rock is your waifu. Because y'all spend a lot of quality time together. And honestly, um, it's probably for the best if you don't try to get together with a real person. Because as we've seen in the Warrior quest line it's just cringe and it's embarrassing for everyone involved to, for anyone to will to witness stick to rock that's what you can handle and that's okay okay a uh, dancer lena captain of the guard lena oh yeah she is so freaking cute and she is good at throwing chakrams she like, who can complain? She's a bun bun. There's only one issue with Lena, and that is that whenever she joins you in the trust system for Holminster Switch as part of the story, she doesn't actually put dance partner up. So, like, she's kind of like a like, trash dancer. There's only two conclusions you can draw. One, she's trash at dancer, or two, that she'd rather pretend that she forgot to put up dance partner than actually lead you on by giving you dance partner. So she might be like really, really resistant to being a waifu at all. Like just something to keep on. She probably just forgot. She probably just forgot dance partner. Yeah. Bard. Bard. Uh actually I, I think Suzaku. 
I think I want to say Suzaku because Suzaku dutes the flute. Only thing is, she's got a bit of a hang up still on someone else, but that's fine. She she thinks you're the other guy, so might it might work out. She thinks you're Tenzin. Tenzin, tis I. Just sheathe your sword. <laughs> See, those are all right. So anyway, uh, Suzaku, alternatively, there is also um, the Wandering Minstrel. So Yoshi P, which is probably the best. I don't think you can do better than that. That's like a rank above S tier. It's like Y tier for Yoshi P. Okay, um, Machinist. Um, you ha kind of like built your own life. <laughs> like the uh cyberpunk lonely people of the future that will build their own waifu like android waifus and it's like not very cute yet but it's like your first prototype of it and it's how, how nice it is that you were able to make that for yourself like it's actually pretty impressive you should be proud i mean you spend a lot of time with it but i mean it's it's a technological achievement. And you've named it a queen, too. So, it, I mean, it is a queen. It's a queen. Uh, you know what? Let me help you out. I'm going to help you out because <laughs> maybe a better waifu would be 2P. Because 2P is an android. So, actually, you might you might end up winning the waifu wars uh, by getting 2P. I don't know if 2P is better than having Yoshi P. 2P. Is Yoshi P an android? Dragoon. I know everybody gives you a hard time. Okay, like I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be mean and say, oh, the floor is your waifu. Why don't you just, how about anyone on the floor? I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I know you're tired. How about you just pick any aura, okay? How about you just pick any any aura waifu that you want? Uh, Cause they're dragon people. But I mean, look, honestly, Let's face it, like your real waifu is Nidhogg. Like, don't don't deny it. Y'all had your eyes on each other for a long time. What Shiva did with Race Filger is what Nidhogg wanted to do with you. Come to me, Nidhogg. Oh man, that would be so cool. Your character as the evil version of Shiva, and instead of the um the Race Filger wing around your nip uh it's like actually a nip it's so horrible oh my god okay let's move on <laughs> nip hog we have to move on we have to move on right now ninja so the obvious choice for ninja is you gary she is the ninja npc that we all know and love but does she have like that special sauce? The one with the special sauce is definitely uh, Makebe, I think is her name. You know that really cute Mikote who's outside the rogue guild and she's eating sandwiches all the time? And you know those sandwiches have the special sauce. That's your, that's your real waifu over there. Makebe. Makebe. She invented the bread. <laughs> None could bread before Makebe. Makeba. You can actually tip your hat. Let's say Makeba. I think I'm pretty sure that's her name. I hope it is. Cause I just Oh my god, her name is Vokebe. But you can call her Mukebe. <laughs> samurai. Uh so look, Samurai, you know what? You're a samurai, so there's a good chance that you already have a waifu. Like you've already like I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to do this for you. You're playing a samurai. The only woman I know of that uses a katana is 2P. Unfortunately, I already gave 2P to the machinists, so um, y'all can just have Xenos or like whatever waifu that you already have for yourself. Like what? Hatsune Miku or something. <laughs> All right, Monk. So uh, Monk, obviously your choice is Lise. Like she is the Monk. She even had a cinematic trailer where she is doing awesome like, punching stuff. So like that's probably got y'all pretty um uh, hyped for a storm but here's the problem with Lise. Um, <sighs> Lise is untrustworthy. Lise uh, lies. She only lies. She eats hot chip and lie. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't trust her. She never uh, apologized to me for all of her lies. 
and uh, I thought that I knew her. I thought that we were, I thought, I thought we had a lot in common. And then she changed it and she acts differently. And I was, it's like, I don't even know her anymore. Like, who is she? I don't know. So she's got some, she's got some stuff that you're going to have to work out with her. But she's really cute. So it probably makes up for it. You know what, Ida? Actually, Ida. 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 I always love Ida. All right. <laughs> Moving on. So let's look at astrology. And, uh, first thing that comes to mind is probably something obvious like Sukiyomi because of the moon. And y'all really like the moon moon. Uh, so that's an option moon stuff you could probably handle it besides that there's cards that you like a lot so literally any triple triad npc can work take your pick any gold saucer uh triple triad npc if that if still haven't pleased you with those options there's always every on today i mean he's he's available and I, he, look he needs some love but maybe two astrologians would end up being star-crossed scholar uh so Maybe Kryl. Kryl's a good nerd that you'd probably like. Maybe Titania because it's a fairy. But the problem with Titania, yeah, I don't know about Titania. In fact, I'm sorry I, re I suggested it. Be or even Feo. Well, because the fairies are, according to the lore, uh, born from the souls of dead children. That's why they act like very childlike. Now, they might be born from that and then the the new creation that is a fairy is like something new and different and like very ancient and that's fine but it's just like it's weird okay so it's just like a little weird feels a little weird uh so i'm not i'm not gonna suggest that instead how about literally anyone with the <laughs> fairy outfit on next up white mage and i have a perfect match for you actually that's gonna be etta Obviously, Etta is the the perfect white mage allegory for the journey of so many healers. Um, so Etta being this once wholesome healer of the party, once wholesome conjurer, just ready to help out and get through the dungeon with her group, uh, slowly transforming into probably one of the most bloodthirsty villains the world has ever seen, uh, absolutely psychotic in every way. Uh, <laughs> and yet still so lovable. You deserve Etta. Uh, maybe not all of you. <laughs> but uh, her boyfriend definitely deserved Etta. Here's the only thing with Etta. Um, if you're gonna be bad at white mage, you should also not be bad at necromancy. Like, you, you, you gotta pick one to be bad at. You know what? Um, I think that actually uh, Etta has already waifu'd you before you got a chance to waifu her. <laughs> like, you think you're gonna waifu Etta? You're, she's a step ahead of you, man. It makes sense that she would always be one step ahead. <sighs> it's a gruesome joke. <laughs> blue mage, you're not a real job, but I know some people will probably say, what about blue mage? You know what, I will give you more bull. You can have more bull. And um, before you say, ooh, actually, morbles can be sexy. I made a whole video about that you'd like to educate yourself instead of being judgmental damn and you do get the marble mount as a blue mage so y'all are already um hooked up uh, all right black mage <laughs> this is easy you get sadu who is like an s tier waifu or shtola though you'll have to go through runar probably actually i don't know if two such explosive people would actually be a very good match Y'all would just blow each other up. Y'all might not actually meet up that much because she lives pretty far away. And Lord knows how hard it is to get y'all to step out of an AOE. What makes you think that you're going to step to the step? Get to the as I'm Y'all don't like stepping anywhere. Lazy. Red mage. So obviously, Alice A. Obviously, Alice, a best scion, best red mage. The only problem is she's a little too young. Uh, let me Google it real quick. Let me Google that. Let me be a real creep and Google Alice's age. 
She's 16, okay? She's too young. She can't be a waifu yet. Oh, so I am think I'm going to cheat a little bit here and in the meantime, say Aerith from Final Fantasy VII because she wears red and the, her voice actress actually plays Red Mage in Final Fantasy XIV. So there you go. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, but Zapla, you can't just pick a character from another Final Fantasy. And, and maybe you're right. In which case, you also have Zoro. So, okay, Summoner. There's Tol uh, Shtola's sister who does the quest for Summoner. Who's a little bit more crazy than Shtola. Like, uh, Shtola's out here trying to get rid of primals. Meanwhile, her sister is, like, teaching you how to summon them. <laughs> She's like, you can have a little bit of primal as a treat. Uh, Garuda, of course. She's always there for you when you need her. She is um, not a fair weather friend, a, a fair feather friend. She's quite a bay, and has a nice booty. But if you feel like that might lead to an unprofessional business relationship, you can always just go out and um, pick anyone with freckles because <laughs> they have because <laughs> they have they have dots. Well, that's all uh, for this rather silly video <laughs> about how to choose your waifu based on your Final Fantasy XIV job. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of darkness. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.